Howdy folks. Facebook asks, what's on your mind today? Well, I'm a mind reader. I've read some pretty interesting thoughts lately. Thoughts like, gee, I sure hope it rains today. We need the rain. And uh, another one. I went to do my laundry. I got my my clothes washed and I went to do the dryer and the dryer was kaput. Oh, here's a good one. I set out the uh, gopher traps. I had an excellent day today. I caught, caught nine gophers in my backyard. <coughs> well, to tell you the truth, I've been thinking very seriously about one subject. That subject is Sudoku. Yep, I was fascinated by Sudoku about four years ago. And I guess I've worked a thousand puzzles by now. I always go to the dollar store, pick up a good good Sudoku book for a dollar. This one has 176 puzzles in it. <coughs> I like to start in the back and work towards the front because the hard ones are in the back and the easy ones are in the front. Now my girlfriend for the last 56 years, she starts on the front and works towards the back. And then we meet in the middle and we say, yeah, another job well done. I would like to think that I'm probably a semi-expert. I'm not really an expert at anything, but I'm more or less a jack of all trades. I'm able to work about, I'd say, 98% of every puzzle without any problem. But I get to a point in some of them where I get to near the end, I get locked up and I have to guess. So I was thinking, it would be nice if I had a, a guess board. Or even better, maybe if I had a wooden puzzle. I like to work with wood, so I went out and looked at my shop and seen what materials I had, and I said, well, I think I'll design me a puzzle. So, I said, computer, design me a puzzle. I'm looking at my computer right now. Here's, here's what the computer came up with. Okay, I said, that's pretty neat. I can use that. <coughs> I'll need to drill a whole bunch of holes. I'll need to make a template. I'll need to use either dials or plugs. And I'll see what I could got. So I went out. Went out to my workshop. Got me a board. Did, did some holes, I tried testing some plugs, I finally found a plug that would fit just right. Not too tight, not too loose, easy to move and replace. I said, yep, that'll work. That's a 5 8 inch plug. I made that plug with a plug driller. Made it with a drill bit. This is the 5 8 inch drill bit. Has a, a bottom hole that drills the bottom hole pretty flat. That ought to work. So I kind of started thinking what will I need to make the, a template for drilling the holes. And then it hit me. Why not just use pegboard? That's a great idea. So. Maybe I'll take me, make me a template out of pegboard. With pegboard, I can take my automatic uh, centering pilot drill, place it in the hole, pre-drill all the holes. It leaves about a 3 32nd inch pilot drill. 
And that's just about the right size to center this 5 8 inch bit with. So I said, well, I'll, I'll uh, make my holes now. But then I happened to think. The template I had had the holes too close together. Because this is a pretty big, pretty big hole. I said, that's not going to work. I'm going to have to make me another design. So I asked the computer again, make me a design. And the computer come up with another nine. Then I happen to think, what's a good way to get the numbers on the holes, on the plugs? So I had to make me a number sheet. I'll just decoupage them on there. That should work. <clears throat> well, after thinking about the material to make this out of, I said I'll use, uh, I want to make a neat one out of solid wood, but I'd have to join two pieces of wood together. Then I came up with the idea of making it out of plywood. So if you make it out of plywood, you've got to put banding on the edges to hide the edges of the plywood. So I went out there and I, I drilled 160 holes, made my templates, made my pegboard, <coughs> made my puzzle board. This is what it turned out to look like. Oops. This puzzle needs a one. I put a one here to complete the puzzle. There we go. What else is missing? Well, it looks like I'm missing a three. Over here goes a three. Yeah. Well, boy, that worked pretty good. Now all I have to do just when I get to a point where I have to guess, and that's probably 2% of my puzzles, I'll just pull out the board and, and move them around so it's an easy way to guess. And then I got to thinking, wow, I bet I could sell this puzzle for $10. Maybe I'll go into production. Let's see, what would I need? I could buy a whole big sheet of 4 by 8 plywood, cut it up in blocks, make a lot of puzzles that way. Then I could uh, need about three rolls of uh, banding tape. That's to put the edges, make the edges look good. What else do I need? Oh, I need, a, I need some Mod Podge. Let's say about eight dollars for that. Maybe some stain, eight dollars for stain. All in all, I figured it'd take me about, I could invest about ninety dollars and ninety-three cents using plus tax. How many puzzles could I get out of a eight by four plywood? I figured it out to be about twelve puzzles. <laughs> well, if I sold them for ten dollars a piece, then and I made 12 puzzles, it would take 10 puzzles to get my money back. That would leave me a profit of about a dollar and 25 cents a day. It took me a week to make the first one, but after I made my first one, I, would, I could probably get it down to a day and a half or two days. Yeah, dollar 25 cents a day. Oddly enough, a dollar and twenty-five cents. That's exactly what my papa made in 1937 when I was six years old and he was working on the WPA for Roosevelt as a night watchman. His job was to guard uh, a ditch digger that was digging a drainage ditch 
And he had to guard that ditch at night, and he made a dollar and twenty-five cents. Oh well, that's off the subject. Back to another brainstorm. Have a nice day.